All right, guys, so I'm going to do a tutorial on a project I'm working on. I'm relabeling the ends of my monster boxes. As you can see, they're kind of all over the map here. And the problem is, is when you when things get switched around, you're always having to, like, relabel the boxes, right? And so right now what I'm doing is I'm just sticking index cards on the outside of them. But what I'm working on and what I discovered is, here, let me move this out of the way, uh, I'm putting a plastic, like using a card saver and then putting an index card and that way you can take out the labels and it doesn't mess up the end of your boxes. So I'll do a quick tutorial on what I'm doing and how I'm doing this. So guys, it took me about a half an hour to master this. So I'm just going to give you a quick tip on the tools that you're going to need. First, you're going to need a thick piece of plastic or maybe something real thin and rigid. The second thing is something thick. I used a decoy from a pack of baseball cards. Of course, you'll need a pen, some kind of adhesive. I use a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a card saver too. You want to use the larger card saver. You want to use, a, you need a tape measure and you're going to need three by five index cards. So with the tape measure, you just want to put a dot on the box at the center of the box and then put a dot on the center of the card saver. Then you want to put some kind of adhesive on the back of the card saver. I'm using a glue stick. And before you adhere the card saver to the back of the box, you want to line up the dots, you know, that you put in the middle of the card saver in the box. And then you want to put a small spacer. And the reason why, you don't want the card saver to touch the bottom of the box. And I'll show you why Okay, so I've got my card saver adhered to the box. And you'll notice that the spacer gives a little bit of a gap from the bottom of the box and the card saver. Then you want a 3 by 5 index card and you want to fold the bottom of it about a half an inch down and once you get the index card folded about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch down you want to label it but you don't want to label it too high because you don't want the label to exceed the lid cover so i'm going to label this index card all right and this is the last part guys you want to have this flap here because you got to use something rigid so this is like a rigid thick piece of plastic and i put it behind this the reason why you need it rigid, you will never get this index card in the card saver without something rigid. So that's why you want to fold this uh, index card so that it'll wrap around the rigid piece. And then you just slide it right into the card saver like this. But like I say, guys, if you don't have that rigid piece of plastic or whatever, you could use a ruler. It'll never, it'll never ever, that the index card will never go in the card saver. And so there we go. And then when you put the lid on the box, voila. Now, now you got a labeled box. And what's nice is you could take the index card out. So if cards get shifted around, um, you're not going to ruin the box or write over it or keep gluing stuff on the front of it. And then I want to show you guys why I put a gap right here, why I don't put that um, card saver all the way down at okay, the bottom. Okay, so here's another box I did. The reason why you, you want a little bit of a gap is if you slide the box in and out, that that card saver isn't going to stick on on the surface and, and yank the card saver off. So it just gives it a little bit of room for the box to be able to move back and forth without the card saver getting, um, getting pulled and tugged on. So that's it. That's my, my my tutorial. I'll show you the finished product, and you can kind of compare how things look before and, and after. And a quick tip, if you're doing a shorter box, so one that's not for the graded cards or the taller boxes, but the shorter boxes, you're going to need to cut the top of the card saver to shorten everything so that it doesn't exceed the height of the box. So I, I cut off about a half an inch on the card saver on the shorter boxes compared to the graded size card box. So look at how nice that looks, guys. Nice un uniformity. Everything is like labeled pretty nice. I, I, I like that, it turned out real well. And uh, if I ever need to shuffle cards around or the category of cards in the boxes changes, it's real easy to switch out. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys when you're labeling your boxes. And until next time, guys, as always, Happy collecting!